Welcome to June's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is reverse linked list 2. <clears throat> Given the head of a singly linked list and two integers, left and right, where left is less or equal to right, reverse the nodes of the list from position left to position right and return the reversed list. So we have a linked list here, and we want to reverse just from the left position to the right position. Notice, notice that it's going to be one indexed, so the second node to the fourth node inclusive. So here we can see that we have to start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want to return 1, 4, 3, 2, 5. Okay, so how would we do this? Normally when we reverse a linked list, we'll have two pointers, right? One starting pointing to the previous and one starting to our current node here. And what we'll do is store the next node from the current somewhere temporarily. And we're going to say, okay, now current point to the previous one instead. So this now points this way. And then update our previous to equal the current and then update current to equal our temp and we just continue this algorithm all the way down up until everything is reversed now that would work fine if we were just reversing this whole linked list but we want to do it only in a subsection right so how would we do that well essentially the algorithm still remains the same it's just that we need to move this previous pointer all the way to the point that which uh, at which we want to start reversing so we want to point to that node that's going to that last node that's going to stay intact. Here, if we had two and four, the previous node is going to be pointing at one, right? So what we'll do is uh, store this previous node somewhere, and I'll, I'll explain why we have to do that later. And we're going to just have a current, and let's call it a next uh, one point to the next. Now the algorithm at this point is going to stay the same. We just store the next somewhere temporarily, four temporarily, and we'll move this back, and then we'll move everything forward. Uh, same here, up until the point that our, uh, we, re we reach the right index. So this part here is now reversed. Now though, the tricky part is how do we get this previous pointer to now point to the right way? Because obviously this part's reversed, but there's like some cycles here, right? It doesn't, it doesn't work. So what we'll have to do is first we need to take this previous dot next to now point to uh, 5 here instead. So this previous pointer dot next, uh, we want the next now to equal what five, right? Oh, it's actually not five. It would be four. It would be the current one here, and we need the previous one to now be pointing not to two, get rid of this, but be pointing to five here. So what would this mean? Basically, oh, I'm sorry, I, I flipped that. This should be pointing to four, and this should be pointing to five. So that way, this will go like one, then four, three, two, then all the way back to five. So this this part's the tricky part. We need to figure out a way to get this next on next point to uh, the next here, and previous dot next to now be pointing to the current at this point here. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's begin by first uh, taking care of some edge cases. If left equals right, that means nothing has changed. We're not gonna be flipping anything, so just return the head back. Let's first start by initializing our dummy node, which is gonna be list node zero. And the next will be pointing to the head, obviously. And previous, um, I guess we'll be starting at the dummy. And we'll have an iterator to count up where we're at right now. Since it's one index, we'll start with one. So while i is less than a first left, let's move our previous pointer all the way to that very first node. And we just increase our i like this. Okay, so now our now the regular algorithm begins, right? We want to uh, store our current pointer to equal, let's see, previous.next, and the next is gonna be equal to current.next. So again, while i is less than this time right, make sure to increase every time. Um, just get rid of this here. What do we need to do? First, we need to store the next dot next temporarily. Then we need to have next dot next now equal to the current. And then we need to move our current to equal next and our next is going to equal to temp 
believe that's correct. So up to here, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But how do we get this previous node that we stored here to point to the right places? So really, we know that this is going to have a next, and that next should have a next here at the very least. We know this exists. So whatever, this might be pointing to none, but we need this to point to um, the very last one that we come out of our reverse linked list, right? So that would be next. And previous.next now, we want to set this to the current, which comes right before. Finally, just return our dummy.next. And that should be it. So let's see if this works. Okay, that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So time complexity is going to be O of n, and space complexity is going to be O of 1, and we do it in one pass. So that's great. To be honest, I'm not completely sure how you would do it in more than one pass, other than counting up or, or storing all the nodes into some temporary array and then like maybe re reinitializing the linked list. I suppose that would work, but that would take a lot of extra space and more passes. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.